Well, hello guys. This is Okay, N1CY. Well, guys, we're going to talk about a new handheld and uh, we're up here by the Orange Hill restaurant on a beautiful day. Nice and sunny. And we're going to talk about this um, tri-band handheld that's kind of new to the market now because we are on a hilltop we do get some inner mod and this is a Wushan KGUV8 Tango for tri-band so this radio is a tri-bander it's distributed by PowerX Here's a link to the website on the top of the display. Yeah, we are picking up quite a bit of inner mod here. Now, usually the case on a handheld, if you're on a hilltop, especially if it has a wide receiver, you will pick up a lot of inner mod. So it's got a backlit display. I must say in the sunlight, the display is kind of very tough to see in the sunlight. But in the shade, it's uh, quite nice. So this is a Tri-Bander 2 meter 440 and 220. Popular band. Not seeing a lot of use lately. Hopefully that will change. Here's an overview of the radio. Now I'm using an aftermarket diamond antenna. Okay, this is a Diamond SRH320A, which is a tri-bander, high-gain HD antenna. Okay, guys. So, um, very sturdy construction, tough case. You see those holes? This is your speaker. And this is the hole for the mic right there. Speaker mic input in the back. Now it does not have DC in. Does not have DC in. But these buttons here can be programmed. And this one I programmed it to be the push to talk for the sub band. So you have push to talk for the main band and push to talk for the sub band. It does have a car display. So if I key up now. Oops, I'm listening on that on the other radio. So we heard that feedback right over here on the 220 radio. Okay, so um, anyway, this radio is kind of unique because it's a handheld that will do full duplex, meaning you can transmit on the main band. And listen, be able to receive on a sub band at the same time. That's what full duplex means in this instance. So, again, you can transmit on the main band, be able to receive on a sub band at the same time. It will also, now that that is possible if the main band and the sub band are different. You know, like uh, one is VHF, the other one is UHF. Um, but if they're both UHF, like on 440 megahertz, you cannot do it. Anyway, we'll also do crossband repeat. Again, we'll do crossband repeat. Or we'll also do um, wide, uh, wide uh, FM, commercial FM. We we'll also do narrow FM for uh, the uh, amateur bands, and it does receive on aircraft frequencies. Push button required. So again, we're getting some intermod actually right now. The battery is 2,000 milliamp hour, very sturdy. And the belt clip 
does not go on the battery. I like that feature. So your belt clip is actually attached to the radio, not the battery. I really like that feature. So again, these can be programmable. Like this one is a flashlight. Right there, it's an LED flashlight. Okay. Okay guys, so it's uh, 5 watts on VHF, on high power, and it's uh, 4 watts on UHF, 220 and 440, on high power. Low power is 1 watt. There is no medium power setting on this radio. Again, no medium power setting. I like the radio, it has a nice feel to it, good grip, and uh, it has really good transmit audio. Let's uh, try and play here. Let's see if we can get a hold of someone. N1CY. Anyone listening on 220 from November 1, Charlie Yankee Portable? Any station listening? So somebody was keying up, but nobody's listening right now. It's kind of hard to get a hold of someone on 220 during midday. We'll try again. Anyone listening on 220 from November 1, Charlie Yankee Portable, mobile at rest. November 1, Charlie Yankee, mobile at rest. Okay, guys, so we can't get a hold of anyone. If I want to put it in a single frequency display, I push the RPT button. There you go, single display. If I want to go back to UHF single display, I press the A, B button. Very easy to use. Okay, if I want dual display, I press the RPT button again. There we go. Menu driven, like if I want to go to the PL, I press menu. And that's number 16, 1, 6, CTC. You press menu again. It's 100. Then you can go up and down to change it. And then you press menu to save it. And exit. So it's menu driven. Very easy to program. You don't need a programming software for that radio. So it's all menu driven, super, super easy to program. This is uh, November 1, Charlie Yankee, mobile at rest, uh, requesting anyone for a demo on 220. Anyone listening? Let's go to... Uh, Catalina Island. They have a 220 machine on Catalina Island. Here we go. And we can also select it here. I'm listening on my other radio because it gives me indication how well I'm making it to the repeater. So let's try. I'm on high power, I'm going to switch to low power, you press menu, TX power down here, and we're going to go menu again, high, we want to go low, menu again to save, exit, very easy to program, very easy, okay.
N1CY requesting a demo on 220. Anyone listening? November 1, Charlie Yankee. Well, nobody can get a hold of anyone. Unfortunately, on 220, it is a quiet band for sure. But there's a lot of repeaters on 220 in SoCal. Anyone listening on 220 from November 1, Charlie Yankee for a quick demo? Anyone listening? Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. Nice radio, Tribander, for almost half the cost of a Kenwood F6. Great, great value. Made by Wushan. 220, 440, and 2 meters. And it will do cross band repeat, one direction or both direction. Plus, it will also do a full duplex. Full duplex, meaning you can transmit on the main band and receive on a sub band as long as the bands are not the same. Like one VHF, one UHF could be 220, 440, or 2 meters. N1CY. Okay, let's try 2 meters. Hey, there's activity here. As you can see, it does have a color display. Okay. Here's your oh, chef. One that Robert has in the garage. Yeah, yeah, I know. He is VHF. These two are linked, VHF and UHF, the DARM system, they're linked, so you can full duplex. You can listen to yourself as you're talking. You can never double with anyone, and you get an indication of how well you're making it into the machine. So, it's kind of cool. We can try and talk here. Let's try and talk. You see the feedback? N1CY testing, November 1 Charlie Yankee testing. Again, I'm going to decrease the power. KCAJ, KCAJ, N1CY. So you're transmitting and receiving at the same time. That's what full duplex means in this instance. N1CY. There you go. That's a good example right there. Anyway, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I highly, highly recommend the radio. Nice clean display, good fit and finish, good feel, and it's a tri-band. How can you go wrong? Full duplex too, with a cross-band repeat capabilities. Really, really good value. All right, 73 guys from N1CY. Bye-bye.